Hey, what's cracking, YouTubers? Emmanuel from Cool Adventures again. I'm taking a bit of a hike down to the Georges River. I'm gonna trial out my new Go Pack. Uh, it's a much lighter one than uh, my previous Go Pack. Uh, the idea is that I can be able to travel light and fast in uh, in an emergency situation or a survival situation. Haven't been down here for a while. I used to come down here a lot and um, slingshot and archery with a couple of friends. So it's going to be good to see everything again. Okay, so I'm going to find a place to set up. Oh, and I'll get back to you. Now I've noticed the motorbike tracks, so so I know that people still come down here on their bikes. Uh, but I've just noticed a horse track. Hmm. Be lucky to have a horse. This is a fantastic place to study Australian bushcraft. Every everything you need is right here. George's River is not too far away. A lot of debris everywhere to to use. This is the the kind of bush I love. To me, it's like home away from home. I miss coming down here with my friends. But good memories down here. Okay, I just wanted to show you a little bit of the area, so you can see what um what materials I'd be using to make shelter, fire. Okay, I'll get back to you. Yep, this is a good spot. This is where the river does a big U-turn. And we've got bush music. I don't know if you can hear the birds. Yep. Yep, this is my spot for the day. Beautiful or what? Okay guys, this is it. This is my go pack. Very light. Um, very small. Weighs well under 15 kilos. I haven't weighed it yet, but I can promise you it's a well under 15 kilos. The 15 kilo limit that I put on myself. Um, I've got everything I need in there to survive out in the, in the wild. I've got about five days or four days of food and if I hunt on the first day I think I should be alright hunt and trap um, I'll show you how easy it is to unpack it because that's, prob that's probably one of the points of the system it's very easy to unpack so I've got rope about 28 meters I've got a 100% cotton queen size blanket it's just in a plastic bag with my army scarf got my hockey strap to keep it all together in the front pocket got medical kit everything for cuts, sprains, stomach aches, infections um, yeah got a radio, now I need a radio in a emergency situation so I can um, just know what's going on in the civilized world. Got some my sticks. Now I haven't got much of a water capacity for my pack for my system, but uh, with these uh, Ziploc bags, I can carry at least four liters. Here's my torch, my dolphin, 
waterproof of course and it floats um, I'll show you what the rubber bands are for later so that's the front pocket my action belt it's got the sl slingshot in there of course you know that from seeing my videos I've got like a medical pouch here which can which holds my uh, hoochie um, and some other stuff as well for survival nylon string I know people are against it but I find it very strong and I always put it back in my pocket after I'm finished with it to take it home and this here is my bag of food now in the sides I've got my gloves and a knife sharpener and the beanie on the other side but uh, that's all that's in the bag okay, I'll, I'll show you some other stuff now I know head torches are very good um, you've got to spend some some money if you want it waterproof I've opted to use my dolphin torch and some rubber bands so in the night I can still use my slingshot I don't like the headlamp or the head torches uh, maybe I'm paranoid yeah I guess I am <laughs> but I think uh, in the night time if you're wearing a headlamp all they have to do is shoot the light and you're out <laughs> yeah that's my thinking anyway but uh, with a dolphin torch like this I can still use my uh, my slingshot to deter any animals or bad people I guess and um, still have my hands free so yeah so in my action belt I've got a slingshot and extra rubber I've got my GPS back tracker gets me back from any adventure I've got my monoscope good for a thousand meters a kilometer and I've got some paracord I don't know how much that is there but it's quite a lot and some wipes good for hiking and some hoochie cord which is also very useful so that's in my my pouch on my action belt okay so this is my other pouch I can also put this on my belt if I need to It's hard to do it one-handed. Hold on. There we go. Okay, so I've got some my sticks in there as well. I've got my hoochie. And right at the bottom there's um, emergency foods like chocolates and nuts and stuff. Um, on the side here I've got uh, my compass, some band-aids, and some more plastic bags for water storage. On the other side, I've got some string in there. Just some nylon string. And in the front pocket, I've got a Frontier water filter. Good for 75 litres. And what else have I got in here? My sharpening stone as well. Okay. Now you're probably wondering what knives, right? On my action belt, I've got a combat knife double-edged makes me feel very comfortable and I forgot to show you on the bottom of my pack I can extend it uh, and in this compartment I keep my my saw my hand saw and of course good old trusty Mora blade favorite knife probably um yeah you see my medical kit and my little radio what else haven't I showed you I haven't showed you my food so 
throw it in the bag. I've got a Hexamite stove, some fire starters, folding bowl, some tea, disinfectant, some bars, noodles, some rice, some sardines, some matches, chocolate, milk powder, and I think that's about it. That's about um, four or five days worth of food, I think. In a survival situation, I have to adjust my appetite, of course. So probably only one or two meals a day. But in the bag here, that'll give me enough um, time to hunt and uh, trap any game that's in the area. Uh, I, I, su I suppose I have to say, if it comes down to it, you know, like uh, the end of the world, Armageddon, etc., etc., uh, I'm not alone. Uh, what I mean by that is, I'd have to um, take my dogs with me. Uh, the dogs that you see in my videos, uh, they're, they're like my, my children, really. And, uh, I couldn't live with myself if I just left them behind. So they have to come with me. Uh, yeah. That's another reason why my go pack is so light. And why I've got rope, so I can make a fence line. Or a hammock, I guess. So this is my go pack. Um, everything I need to complete shelter, fire, water, food, navigation, signaling, and self-defense, well, I have to rely on qu close quarters. I don't have a, a very good distance weapon like um, other people do in their go packs, like a gun, a rifle, pistol. Unfortunately, um, I forfeited my right to have a, a firearm when I was young, younger. So I have to make do with slingshots and bows. But um, I'm pretty comfortable with that anyway. Self-defense, I think I've got it covered. My brain's my biggest weapon. Since I'm filming, I might as well say uh, a special thank you to Natural Bushcraft. Now, I put a lot of thought into my EDC. I never thought of putting a Ziploc bag in there. Just so I have that... Uh, uh, capability to, to store and carry water which I think is crucial so thank you natural bushcraft much appreciated you've helped me a lot uh oh the weather's starting to turn the breeze is picking up clouds coming in from the east I might have to head back soon uh, I don't feel like getting wet let me just say like I mentioned earlier, I can extend my go pack at the bottom to uh, create more space for maybe carrying my jacket or firewood if it's constant rain. But um, if I take the action belt out of the bag and put it around my body, it creates even more space. And I think that's a good feature of my go pack. Okay, I'm gonna head back now. Go meet uh, my ride at the pickup point. Missed the place already. <laughs> Just started walking. Looks like it's going to rain. Ah, lucky I'm prepared. Got my bug out bag. Should be prepared for anything. Theoretically. <laughs> if I have to, I'll get my hoochie out. And I'll sit at the... I'll sit at the pickup point. Waiting for my ride. Thanks for watching guys, please rate and comment, and if, uh, if you want to, subscribe, I promise to bring you informative videos on survival and camping, adios!